discuss the Fender Ventera 60 Strat. Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But remember, you can always find us online at tarpleymusic.com. The website's always there. We may not be online, but you get the idea. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please just click the little clickety click on the subscribe button right there and uh, really help us out. So uh, this is from the Ventera series, the Vintage Era series for Fender. Basically what it is, it's a nod to their 50s and 60s, 60s and 70s guitars. Um, and basically they're trying to do it where the specs are... Um, very period correct as far as the necks are, and then they're updated pickups, but with uh, decade-specific tones. And so it's kind of a nice um, combination of the nod to all the vintage feel and stuff like that, but contemporary parts in some in some areas, stuff like that. And there's a, there's a big wide range of all their vintage-style colors, too, is a lot of great one. So uh, they actually, you'll find the Tele, uh, Strat, Jaguar, Jazz Master, Mustang, and then P-Bass or the Precision Bass, J-Bass or Jazz Bass, and Mustang Bass. Uh, so all those guitars that came famous from 50s and 60s and 70s, uh, you'll see. So this is actually from the 60s Strat uh, Ventera era, right? And uh, this is actually a road-worn one. So you can see some some nice, just kind of make it look like it's been on the road and stuff. And apparently somebody was having a really hard time finding the input jack in the dark. Because there's just some stabbing motions here, but it's cool. So it looks really neat. When you look in the back, you see uh, wear and tear, kind of where it would be, even some buckle rash, things like that. So, um, but as far as parts, you know, it's an alder body, um, of course. And then the, it's a maple neck there. So this is simulating rosewood, but this is a pile ferro uh, fretboard that they're using a lot of now. It, it reacts and feels much like Rosewood to me, especially. Um, and then it is a mid-60s C profile neck. So the next size is going to feel very, very 60s neck. Um, and then, of course, vintage style tuners there. You have vintage style frets. There's 21 of them. And then the radius is 60, 7.25. So you can see in those feel standpoints, it's definitely 60s, but they've modernized a few things and just using the Powell Faro. Uh, the pickups are definitely very 60s voiced. Um, and then this is a th synthetic bone. So you do get some bone, you know, that kind of tone out of there, but it's it's going to be a little bit easier to work with. It's very sturdy, good stuff there. And then, of course, a six-point tremolo here that uh, for the bar. And basically that means that there are six points where the uh, the piece is put onto the body. A lot of them you'd see would be the two points. So you'll just see a screw there and screw there. And that's what it is. So uh, you're able to really kind of, you know, uh, do a lot of the the tremolo and vibrato, and it'll hold up. So five-way switch, just a standard, all the tones standard from that sense. It's still a 25.5 scale length, which was standard for that time. And of course, your scale length is uh, from the bent saddles here to the nut. And so uh, the big part of that is of obviously how it feels. You got to come up and put it in your hands, but uh, let's get some tones out of it. So I'm going to do very simple, some just kind of some rock and chord stuff, clean through all five, and then we'll go through it overdrive in all five positions. All right, so for the clean tones, I'm just going right into the Fender Deluxe Reverb Amp. This is the Tone Master here. And uh, just treble and bass sitting on five, going direct out of this. So just a very simple, uh, consistent uh, tone link that we have here. And then uh, we're going to start in the neck position or position one. It is a standard five-way switch, right? So you've got uh, your position five, excuse me, is here, which is there for both of these, three in the middle, two middle, and then bridge, and then uh, bridge for position one there. All right, so here we go, neck position. Position four. It's a really great chunky rhythm part there. So this is position three, just the middle pickup. Now position two, so we've got middle and uh, bridge. Position one, just a bridge, very treble, right? All right.
right, so for the overdrive tones, I'm going through a Boss Angry Driver pedal. It's actually a combination of JHS and Boss, but I'm only using it just on the Boss setting. So it's just like a basic Boss uh, overdrive with just a little bit of, of uh, gain there. And then we're going to go through that same sequence starting with position five. guitar on its own clean and with some dirt so now i want to hear what it would sound like in the mix with some other tracks i did earlier all right hit it boys guitar players, there's probably a part of you that's really into the vintage stuff or where everything started from, and that's understandable. Uh, for me, uh, Tellys and Strats tend to do a lot of that, really like the Mustang stuff too, um, from, from Fender. Of course, a lot of great vintage stuff from other brands, but if you're really into that Fender kind of stuff, uh, then this is a really great series to look at because uh, it's, you know, price wise is kind of mid, middle, middle to mid low, but you can get a really good sounding strat in that era or a telly in that era. Uh, basses also. So uh, it's definitely worth playing. They're, um, the colors are fantastic. The necks and the, the, the frets and everything feel like a vintage guitar in that sense, but you got some contemporary parts. Um, with it also uh, to kind of modernize it in the sense. But as far as design and feel, they really were like, we're just trying to go back to those golden era, especially 60s, the golden era for Fender, uh, right? Especially early 60s. And so uh, I think this does a great job. This is a great blue. The colors are great. Um, and like I said, there is a lot more of the, the Tele and uh, Jazzmaster, Jaguar, Mustangs uh, in this series also. So we'll hopefully we'll get some uh, videos to do some of the other guitars in, in the series. Um, but it's it's a really kind of a neat thing uh, to look up and kind of see why they they built these. Uh, like I said, this is a road worn one, but a lot of them are not. A lot of them are completely clean, as if like you know, fresh off the sales floor in the '60s. Um, so, which is a uh, really cool. Also, just depends. It's all personal vibe there because this one's actually got you know, it's a mint green pick guard with age knobs and stuff. So it really, really complements it. Really fun guitar to play if you're really into strats, especially the older strats you should come down to Tarpley and play this. Um, I hope you kind of learned something. I know I've had a lot of questions about what really is that Ventera series. And so we, we, let's do one on it. So you can kind of get, this is a specific one for this, but the whole series, you kind of get an idea of what they're looking for now. And I think they're doing, doing it right. It's a really cool vibe. And uh, so I uh, hope you liked this video. Please hit like if you did and uh, share if you know some uh, Strat loving buddies 
you can uh, share this video on and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And of course, we're dropping videos constantly, week after week after week. And uh, so if you'd like to know as we drop those, you can just turn on notifications and we will see you on the next one.